Man, I am filling these Gatorade bottles as fast as I'm drinking them. Oh, sweet cows. Let's tip them over. What? You want to tip over some cows? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is going to be so boss. I can't wait. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. All right, cow. This is what you get for standing. <clears throat> that was awesome. I want to kiss that cow, but I don't want it to be my idea. Hey, Peter, you should kiss that cow. All right, Peter, that was fortuitous, but play it cool. Oh, Cleveland, I couldn't. Okay, Quagmire, you should kiss that cow. Sure, why not? Ah! Joe, that was amazing. You saved us. Well, yeah, I guess I did. You know, I spent the whole time trying to kill myself, but it took seeing you guys almost die to realize that life really is worth living. See, Joe? You're a hero, too. And we wouldn't trade you for any friend in the world. Thanks, Peter. I'm lucky to have you guys in my life. We're four friends having an adventure. Four whoa, friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that song? Nothing. I made it up. Well, stop it. It's terrible. I don't think so. It's catchy. We're four friends having an adventure. Four, four friends, friends having an adventure. Four friends. Now what the hell? Adventure. Four friends having an adventure at Niagara Falls. What's wow, that? Nice. Oh, yeah. Right. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, definitely. All right. Okay. Don't anyone sing anything else until we get home. We got to record this. Yeah, that'll be great. I'm a baby girl. In a Barbie world. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Peter, damn it, no! Wait, wait, we gotta remember the other one. Wait, what was it, Joe? <sighs> it's gone. God, the mall sucks, doesn't it, kids? If I had a credit card, I'd shop online. Oh, hey, Bonnie. What are you guys doing here? Oh, hey, Lois. We saw an ad looking for a toddler to appear in a peanut butter commercial, and we thought we'd bring Susie. Joe, are you wearing a corsage? Yeah, you can get a really good deal on them after prom season. If a girl's Joe. Hey, Peter, why don't you let me do me and you do you, okay? Peanut butter commercial, huh? Hey, Brian, maybe you should audition. You know, because of that one time you got in the trash and ate a whole jar of recalled peanut butter. It wasn't peanut butter. It was that pre-mixed peanut butter and jelly thing. Oh, Mom bought that? That's what the scab kid at school always has. Huh, there's no one there. Must have been some kids knocking. Down here, Lois. Oh, for God's sake, Joe. Can't you put a tall flag on the back of your chair or something? I apologize for the difficulty my paralysis causes you. Hey, Peter, good news. Bonnie's out of town, so I have an extra ticket for Tuesday night bingo down at the Allendale Mill. Why the hell would I want to go to bingo? Oh, it's a blast. There's the thrill of the game, people bring snacks, plus you'll hear some pretty unfiltered opinions about those jokers in Washington. Yeah, that sounds perfectly terrible. You know what, Joe? Peter would love to go with you. What? Terrific. I'll pick you up at six. What'd you do that for? Peter, he's your friend. And who knows? It might be fun. <sighs> All right, I'll go. But I'm not happy. You know how much I hate being told what to do. Oh, I see you came with the big cheese. What? You? You're a big cheese? I usually bring a variety wheel of laughing cow cheese. <laughs> laughing cow! That's got to be a happy farm, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just must be cracking up all the time hanging out with this one. Look, ma'am, I don't know what signals Joe is sending out, but I'm married. You're a natural at this. Oh, and fair warning, when they call 069, I say, oh my. Ooh la la. <laughs> Yeah, really funny, Joe. Or, or how about this one? Oh, my God, I want to kill myself right now. All right, I gotta get through this. I'm just gonna go to my happy place. Go to your happy place, Peter. Oh, and you're wearing the necklace I gave you. Well, if I were you, I'd sure be excited. You're only one number away from having a bingo. I am? Wait, you mean if they call... Oh, 74. <gasps> bingo! You were right, Joe. This is awesome. I never won anything. Guys, there's only one way to get through to a Korean. Through their music. Uh-huh. Yeah. We can try your thing. Uh, 
Hi, Joe. Hey, Brian. Look, I, I want to apologize for what happened. I, I didn't mean to kiss Bonnie. Everybody had a little too much to drink. It, it just happened. I hope we're still cool. Hey, don't worry about it. It was a crazy party. We ran out of salsa. <laughs> How do you run out of salsa? Anyway, we're good. Oh, really? Oh, thank God. I, I, I was worried you'd be mad. Mad? At my buddy Brian? Not a chance. Hey, is that your car? What? No! Wait, what's he doing? My car was parked legally. <sighs> well, maybe your car violated some sort of unspoken boundary. One that nobody bothers to codify because it's just common decency. Hey, Joe, is that the guy? Read your text, Jerry. Not supposed to say you know me. Well, I hope your day gets better, Brian, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> hey, Brian, I uh, know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings, can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. What the hell happened? Ah! How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rubbed my butt on you while you were unconscious. I like to put stuff online. See, if I make under 20 grand for 20 years, my film school debt just goes away. That's a government rule. Bonnie? Joe? How did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. You're under the canoe in Quagmire's yard. Son of a bitch! Bonnie, I understand now why you left. Over the years, I probably have become too dependent on you, and I'm sorry if you've had to put your dreams on hold because of me. Oh, Joe. But I'm here to fight for you, Bonnie. And if you're willing to come back home, I promise I'll spend the rest of my days taking care of you, just the way you've always taken care of me. Of course I want to come home, Joe. I love you. Wow. I guess just call me Cupid, huh? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, damn it! Hey, Bri. Came to try that apple pie you were texting about. Oh, you're short. Uh, so, Joe, uh, big day tomorrow, huh? Father's Day. Gonna be home all day? Especially at 11.30 a.m.? Peter. What? I didn't say anything about his dad. My dad? What about my dad? Well, now to Quagmire ruin the surprise, we found your dad! You what? That's right. He's coming tomorrow for Father's Day. You shouldn't have done that, Peter. My father's not going to be happy to see me. Sure he will. Just get him one of them Father's Day cards what plays a song. Dad to the bone. I'm dad. Pretty much anything with bad, you turn it to dad. Wait, why wouldn't your dad be happy? What, is he a jerk or something? No, it's just that ever since I was a little kid, he was constantly making fun of handicapped people. Really? Yeah, my whole life. My my dad would ridicule anyone in a wheelchair. It was all, hey, spaghetti legs, and hey, rigatoni legs, and uh, hey, angel hair legs. He was a sales manager at Ronzoni. Wow, then it must have been hard for him to accept when you were paralyzed. That's just it. My dad doesn't know I'm handicapped. I never told him. I never, I never told him. <laughs> oh, Joe, don't cry. It's going to make me cry. Ah, I cry like Snoopy. Ah! <gasps> It's all right, little buddy. There's hope. Let me tell you the story of another squirrel that... I wish I had his balls. The only sagging I like is sag paneer. Now you can say giggity. Wow, Bonnie, you really took off the baby weight quickly. Oh, thanks, Lois. I've been watching what I eat, and Joe's been running me ragged in the bedroom. Come on, Bonnie, run! Come on, push it, push it! Come on, you suck! You're trash, you're a garbage person! You work for the town! Jeez, that's all my life is lately, just a bunch of chores. I'm sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Or 
Nothing to live with it, Bonnie. There are tracks. People make tracks. Got to here. We got to get past these guards. Well, I got an idea. It won't be pretty, but bear with me. Whoa! Oh, no! I fell out of my wheelchair! <laughs> Don't help me! I need to do this on my own! What are you doing, Joe? You're embarrassing us. Oh, really? Are they looking? No. They're actually going to great lengths to avoid it. Exactly. No one wants to watch a handicapped struggle for independence. This will buy us at least 15 minutes of averted gazes. All right, I'm gonna nail this home. Oh! Oh, this is so humiliating. I'm about to be an adult man crying. I can't walk. Why the hell can't I walk? This isn't part of the act anymore. Really, everybody? What what'd you think? You want to know what I think? Well, yeah. You son of a bitch! <laughs> it's a travesty! <laughs> Guys, keep his anus above his head. This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I am useless. Shut up! Okay. Hey, where's Quagmire? Actually, I haven't seen him all week. Methinks he found a new lady friend. Don't say methinks ever again, Joe. Hey, there he is. Hey, guys. What, what's all this? Oh, this little oogie woogie is my new friend, Albertine, who thinks she's French. She loves to smoke and feels it's not truly a meal unless you serve bread. Isn't that right, Albertine? You gotta serve bread? I don't believe she's ever said any of that. So where have you been low these many days? No! Well, you know how there's hardly any cat cafes in town? Well, I decided to open a cat cafe. What's a cat cafe? It's like a coffee shop, except one where lots of cats live and roam. Hmm, he thinks the cat cafe sounds like a great idea. That's it, Joe. I challenge you to a duel. Pistols at midnight. Peter, did you bring a flamethrower? No. I also didn't bring one of them laser guns from Ghostbusters. Joe, look, look! I got me a West! Ah! Ah! Good. We'll keep him till we get a new mayor. Stone fruit season. Now those are what my granddaddy called proposing peaches. Don't be shy now. Dig in. <laughs> Whoa! Here I go. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you go to the gross side. It's out of my control. They're too juicy. We exchanged a look earlier. We have a grossed out, no fun alliance. Say, so you guys like peaches, huh? Yeah.